part one of my Disney World and Universal Studios haul. I've decided in this video to do everything except pins. I did end up getting quite a lot of pins so I'm going to do a whole separate video for that. Also I know it's not everyone's cup of tea pins so that's going to be in a separate video. I'm going to show you everything that we got, a lot of clothing, um, some new ears, and some new artwork which is very exciting the only other thing i'm not showing in this video is pandora charms um i'm gonna do a separate video on that as well so let's start with just what i can read so let's start with new ears i got a few pairs of new ears the first one i got i actually didn't get a chance to wear in the end they came slightly too late in our holiday and we didn't um I wanted to wear these like to watch the fireworks with. Um, these are by Earsilla Designs. That is the card there. They're 3D printed ears. And so all these bits are actually removable. Um, I won't do it now, but you can remove these off. This is just like a snap button on and off. So you could choose which bow you want. This was her Happy New Year design, but that's just on a badge. So you could take that off, wear it on something else and uh wear this all year round really so that is what the ears look like and the cool thing about them if i can find their little switches is they light up so you're probably not going to be able to see too well in this light but yeah they light up which i think is really cool and again if you're in the dark at the parks i think that's a really fun touch so i got those and then the other pairs again are interchangeable ears these are by so magic mama i think and if i can remember i will link them down below if i forget someone comment and i will do my best to link it then so i ended up purchasing three bows and two sets of actual ears so you can buy them all separately and they come on a headband i actually in the first time trying to put the bits on i snapped the headband so they're not the most great headbands and the maker is aware of that and um, I just went into Walmart and got a pack of headbands with like a more silicone rubbery grip so if they do end up breaking you know it's not the end of the world. Um, it is annoying that you sort of have to go out and buy them um, but I would just factor that into the cost of the ears. These are super, super lightweight. If you're going on any sort of fast moving roller coaster, I take them off. Anything as simple as like Dumbo, if it's a windy day, even if it's not that windy, these could fly off. Um, I held on to them when I was on the tram. Like these are as lovely as they are because they're lightweight, they may blow off. Um, so this is the first sort of combination I got. So the, I purchased these bits separately from the bow, so this is the um, like the purple wool style geometric bow in amethyst, and then these white holographic ears. So that was like one combination that I was wearing. The other combination that I wore was this one. So it, I got the silver, I think it's the silver, is it? It might be the white actually. A holographic bow, and then these floral ears. I really like these. Um, they were nice to have like some floral element to them and then the other one I got um the other bow that I got to match with the white was this bow and I didn't actually get a chance to wear this one um and that's just like the castle bow so you can totally mix and match um it all which is really nice and like I said they're really slim easy to pack lightweight um it's just you've got to be mindful to take maybe a spare headband in case they break um so those were the headbands that I got I ordered them before we went and then got them shipped whilst we were out there. So the first thing I will start with is we went to the Epcot Festival of the Arts Festival. This is our first time we've ever been to it and it was really exciting to go to and see all the art. It's definitely an expensive time of the year to go. If you know you're a sucker for Disney artwork, do not go because you will spend your money. But they introduced a new pass holder magnet so we had to pick it up and it looks like this. So it's like a really fun Mickey Mouse, uh, like looks like he's been painted on. So we got that for being pass holders. Um, two other things that um, was at the Festival of the Arts. I will show you the actual artwork 
in a minute. I'll go through all clothes first. I'll show you the artwork at the end and try not to forget. But they had a expression station type thing where they had this like canvas mural and you could go pick up a pot of paint and a paintbrush and you could paint like four or five squares of the mural. And then as obviously the days go on, the mural gets completed. And they give you a postcard to as like a keepsake of what you participated in painting so the first one that was there from day one was this figment one i'm not a massive figment fan um but it was it was cool to contribute to the artwork and it was quite therapeutic actually um even though you only get to do like four or five squares um and then the second one i got to do maybe in like the end of the first week start of the second week of it was uh this one which um is are these like the um imagineering buildings it's like quite near to where the figment ride is but this was a much larger mural it like came out and there was like an epcot ball um but this is the postcard that they had for it so it's interesting to like see as the festival progresses what other murals they have i'm not quite sure what they do with them once they're complete um, hopefully they display them somewhere but it's just a nice fun free thing to do um, whilst you're there so so if you follow us on our vlogs we actually stay at the Caribbean Beach Resort for two nights and one of the things that I brought back was the Disney Resort body lotion they have since changed the way that they do like the shower gels and everything it's all like mounted on the wall it's more eco-friendly so you can't take away the little travel samples but one thing they still give away is the body lotion this is the sea salt body lotion and this actually came really in handy as you can see i've used quite a bit of it because my legs got really dry when we were out there um it was quite cold and um between that and just like my legs getting dry i guess from like the sun this just smells really nice now it reminds me of like being on holiday it is just like a, a sea salt scent um like being by the sea so that's my little souvenir from staying there so when we stayed at resort we did pick up two of these uh tumblers we didn't realize how expensive these are if you're not on the dining plan um they're like 30 quid i think or 30 dollars sorry if you're not on the dining plan to purchase these these are the reusable cups this is the one that is slightly more if you are on the dining plan i think you still have to pay 10 pounds towards the thermal mug um this is the skyliner one they do have obviously their normal plastic cups but this one is supposed to keep drinks hotter and colder for longer and that it does i can contest for that so Dara and I both got one of these and basically every 20 minutes you can fill these up at resorts with their freestyle machine. So um, we would fill them up at breakfast and then like before we go to bed at night because we were out most of the day. Um, but I filled this up with hot chocolate and peach water and peach Fanta and it was really nice. It kept it nice and hot and nice and cold when I needed it to. So that was our purchase. We only bought one of these back um, and we left one of them out there. So we've got one in each place one day we went to the riviera resort and we had breakfast at topolino's terrace we loved topolino's terrace i'm thinking about getting down in a video and doing sort of like a recap of like some of the new restaurants and experiences we did just to like tell you whether they're really worth the money for us or not um and we spoiler love topolino's terrace um we love the character interaction and the food and the views on a clear day are spectacular um so we had to get obviously something to commemorate i did get a pin which i will show you in my pin video um but we also got i got this postcard it's like a lenticular postcard it says bienvenue and it says disney's riviera resort it's all very like old new orleans style um French Italian Riviera um, and it's got the skyliner in the back so that's very nice I'm gonna pop that up somewhere and then we also got this magnet set this was $14.99 um, and it comes with a Riviera one and then the separate Mickey Mini and the one of them together in their fancy outfits so that was nice the postcard does it say doesn't say what price it was we do have annual passes so we obviously got our 20% discount on them so we got those the other thing darren picked out from the riviera resort was this hat he's not a massive hat person but he was wearing this a ton and i quite like it as well this is the riviera hat so it's got this like faux leather uh cap bit and then it's a blue cotton material and on the side you've even got a very dapper mickey mouse 
and yeah you sort of feel posh wearing it people think that you stayed at the riviera um but he was wearing that quite a lot at the park two things that i haven't got to show you because we did leave them in america were two blankets we got so so cold a couple of nights um at disney one night in particular we did the magic kingdom fireworks uh, party and that was the coldest night that day i had to buy a jacket and we bought two blankets i will show you my jacket in a minute i actually need to run and grab that but the blankets we were so cold everyone was wrapped up in blankets um they're not probably the best for the money they were probably overpriced because everyone wanted to be warm um and they're not the biggest of blankets but it was a necessity and we don't actually have like soft fleecy blankets out at our home in florida so it was nice to leave them there and again if we go um any other time of the year when it's a bit chilly we can take those with us so yes that's the one thing i haven't got to show you um but darren also picked up these gloves i don't think either of us would have picked these out if it wasn't desperate times these are fingerless gloves or part fingerless only the thumb and the your forefinger stays out <laughs> but this is what it looks like they're nightmare before christmas which i don't know if either of us have actually seen um and that is what they look like so they've got uh jack skellington on them and they say bone daddy which i, I don't understand i'm not a fan of personally but um, Darren got those one day so he could keep his hands nice and warm and I actually did borrow them the night of the fireworks because I had my hands out like taking photos and I couldn't shelter them under a blanket so those are the gloves he got and I think he's going to use them now that we're back like to keep in the car so he got those not sure on the price of them a lot of the things we either took tags off because we wore I don't have the receipts for everything unfortunately um one thing we got from disney springs was this this is one of their reusable tote bags we got this at you can get this in quite a lot of stores except for the main world of disney store because they have their own blue shopping bag for that which says world of disney on it um but i really wanted the disney springs one because i love the the springs element to it um disney springs is definitely growing on me at first i was really hesitant the way they changed it over from downtown disney but aside from possibly like i'm not overly keen on the theming of the new world of disney store but apart from that i think the whole re-theming of the place is quite good um i wish they would have kept the indoor disney quest though that would have been cool but anyway this is the medium shopper bag and these are great to bring home and use in shopping or if um to keep in the back of your car whilst you're out there because they obviously do use plastic bags a ton we still ended up with a lot of plastic bags which i'm gonna have to reuse um but it was nice to get something eco-friendly when i can and i saw this on our last trip and knew that i wanted to get it so i'll show you the coat that i got i was actually eyeing this up and then when it turned really cold i was like i need to get that because i didn't really bring i bought some cardigans but i don't think it was going to be as cold as it was this was i think like 60 dollars, but it is this black quilted jacket it's really nice and cozy inside it's got the fleece sherpa lining which is lovely and then the hood has little mickey ears on it so just helped keep me really warm and it's not like aside from the ears it's not like in your face disney um so i really like that and glad that i purchased it um would i have purchased it if it wasn't as cold maybe not but i'm glad it was cold and i'm glad i got it before i show you the rest of the clothes i'm going to show you some jewelry i got so i purchased some pieces of jewelry off a shop called d crew design um this is their card they have a shop on etsy and they're on um instagram that's their little handle there and um yeah i purchased three pieces they're not cheap pieces of jewelry i will say that but i think they're really gorgeous pieces i was wearing them a ton whilst we were on holiday um and i love them so let's show you what i got i'll give you some close-ups of them this first one is this bar necklace now they do i think open up every now and again like they have shop openings to sell their pieces it's not like they're continuously on the site so you have to sort of follow them to see when they're going to be opening again um this is the bar necklace 
there we go so as you can see you've got the balloons the ear hat the mini ears and then the castle so this was just a really fun one to wear any park we went to really um especially like if you're at magic kingdom but and i really like the the dainty chain this is i you can pick what chain you want and i believe what um color metal you want um i just went for sterling silver in the mall um because that is just what i wear most uh, this i got with a short chain I've tangled it up right now obviously but um, I got it as a fairly short chain so it sits fairly close to this necklace here that I've got um, but they they give like length they show you what sort of lengths you can get on their website so that was the first one the next one was probably my favorite this one I got on a bit of a longer chain so it it sort of sat quite nicely I would say about here and this is more of like a botanical flower one. Again, it's really like subtle Mickey Disney jewellery. And I really like it. How pretty is that? So this is um, one of their pendants without the black um, ink filled in on them. And then this is the one that does. So just like a comparison. If you just want it to stand out a little bit more. Um, so that was those two. And then the final one is the one I wore the least. But I still love it. And um, I wore it the night of the fireworks. And again I got it on a slightly longer chain. You can pick which shape you want of this I believe. Or at least you could when I went to order it. And this is the fireworks one. So I think you could choose from like fireworks and pixie dust. And of course I went for the fireworks. Because I love the fireworks at Magic Kingdom. So that was that one that I got. And those were the three necklaces I got. I've got two other pieces of jewellery to show you. When we were in Florida, I did do the Pick a Pearl at Japan. And I have done the Pick a Pearl experience in the Japan Pavilion pretty much every year we've gone since 2003, I think, was the one that I had the, the earliest one of. Um, so what was I then? S about seven. And I decided that we would take a load of the pearls with me back out there and I'd get them made into things. So not only did I add another pearl to my collection and do the experience while I was there, but I got them to make some pearls into things for me. So the first one, which is more what I'm most excited about, this I got in 2003. And it looks like I got it in July 2003 maybe? First, seventh of the first maybe uh, so this was a seven and a half millimeter pearl and so I already had the pearl so I had to just pay for the fitting of it this is a it says it's an SV3 zircon ring uh, and it's in the size 7.5 so I think it's like a it's referring to the cubic zirconias that's around it so I'll put it on and show you so obviously I already had the pearl, so I had this really gorgeous grey pearl and I have made um, some blue pearls in the past into a necklace and earrings but I wanted to make this into a ring. It is actually a little bit big now where I think I was a little bit hot in the shop so maybe that's why it... And this was one of the smaller sizes so um, it still fits but I'm wary that it could slip off one day. Um, but that is... Well, it looks like I think it's a really pretty setting for the ring so that was the ring that I got and then I picked two pearls that were of a similar size and color and got them made into earrings these are the uh, Sakura earrings I did want something a little more subtle if I'm honest um, just like something where, like just with the pearl but they didn't have anything in like white gold or silver so this is what I went for the start together at the moment but these are the earrings so they're like little flowers I like pearl earrings um, and yeah I don't know how much I'm actually gonna wear these to be honest because of the the flower shape they're definitely not ones that I could sleep in because I could see them hurting um, but yeah so these were six and three quarter millimeter pearls and um, I got one of those in 2012 and one in 2004. So it's nice that they give you the bags back so I know 
you know what year that they came from so the ring setting was $89 and the earrings were $29.50 and I don't think you got annual discount on them but that was the jewelry that I picked out like I said the Pandora jewelry will be in a separate video um let's move on to clothes and then I will quickly do the Harry Potter stuff because there's not a lot of Harry Potter stuff but I shall show you so the first thing I got was this jumper I actually got this from Target it's a little bit creased because I have just pulled it out of the tumble dryer um, but it is this Disney spirit jersey so it's grey and it's got this little Disney emblem on it it actually still smells like Florida and then on the back it just says Disney on it so you can wear this to any parks on a cruise or you can wear it in Paris um, I got a size small. I probably could have gone for an extra small. They are a little bit bigger, possibly, than the actual Disney sizes. Um, but I really enjoyed wearing this, and um, it was nice on those cooler evenings to actually be able to wear a spirit jersey out there. Today I'm wearing my Disney Cruise Line one. No, I've not been on a cruise, but if you saw my last video from Florida, then you know I got this. Um, so that was that, and I think it was only like 14 or $15, I want to say. So a lot cheaper than the actual spirit jerseys. They did only just have this colour, but if you like grey like I do, then it was a nice thing to go for. The next thing I got was something I hunted high and low for through the parks. I knew that they had done this in the parks, and I couldn't see it anywhere. And then I had a brainwave to check the Disney online store. I was very, like, on the edge of, like, it not getting there before we arrived. Luckily, it did. Um, I got it in a size small, and this is the Walt Disney World pastel jumper. So the ones that was I could still see in stores throughout the parks were the black one, I think I saw a navy one of some sort, and a polka dot one, but I could not find the adult's pastel version of this. It's like how a spirit jersey looks on the back, but it's on the front. It's a fairly thin material, it's not as thick as a spirit jersey was, um, or is it? No, it's slightly thinner, cotton I'd say, um, but I thought it would be super cute and pastel. I will include a picture of me wearing it. I did get it pretty late on the trip, so I didn't wear it that much, um, but like I said, it was like completely sold out through the park, so it was a good job that I could get that online. I will show you one t-shirt that I did pick up before we went away, and it is this grey t-shirt. I will try and link the shop if I remember down below. Um, but I wanted just a park that I, a top that I could wear to any park really. And it was this one. So it's dark grey and it's got this rose gold foil detail, detail on it. And yeah, like I said, it was just really nice to wear um, to any park. Um, especially if, if you park hop and you like to wear like park specific clothes like I do. Um, so that was a, a nice item to have. The next top I got, like I said, I did get quite a bit of clothing. <laughs> Darren was like in despair by the end of it. But this was one that I knew I wanted to get. Whilst we were out there, it was the 45th anniversary of um, Space Mountain and the Carousel of Progress. Carousel of Progress has always been one of my favourite attractions. I absolutely love it. Space Mountain, I went on it for the first time this trip. And I really enjoyed it actually. Darren didn't like it, but I put my fear aside. I had a massive fear of it for my whole life basically I tried to go on it once and then the ride broke down and I never went back on it um so I was pleased that I went on it but anyway um it was the 45th anniversary of Carousel Progress so I picked up the celebratory t-shirt I have the t-shirt from the 40th anniversary one and that's like a light grey um I really quite like the heather detail of this so this is what it looks like so it's like pale blue and yellow and it's got like the older looking carousel of progress um sign on it and it says from the good old days to the possible present um and it's got the date on it so we went on carousel of progress about three times while we were out there we love that attraction so i knew i had to get that uh the next thing i got was this jumper this is um from I got this at the World of Disney store in Disney Springs. This is a Muppets jumper. I love the Muppets. I did manage to get a photo of me outside like the Muppets at uh, Hollywood Studios um, in my jumper. We do like the Muppets attraction. It's not to everyone's taste and probably does need a bit like of a remodel um, as far as like the actual film goes. But 
as soon as I saw this and one of the characters that was on it, I knew I had to get it. So it's just this grey top, it's got the Muppets logo on the front, but then on the right sleeve you've got lots of characters. So if I can try and show you. So you've got Kermit, Fuzzy, Beaker, and Animal, that's the same. But Beaker is one of my absolute favourites, so when I saw him I knew I had to get it. I sort of wish they did another set of characters on the other side, maybe like Miss Piggy... Bunsen Honeydew, Rizzo the Rat, Gonzo maybe, that would have been quite cool, um, but it was just a, a fun new take and uh, I like the Muppets so I can envision me having that in my collection for a very long time. The next item I got was the only piece of clothing that I bought from the outlet. This one was from the one the Vineland one I want to say I'm not quite sure I was eyeing this up last time we were in Florida it was the food and wine festival and I was eyeing up this t-shirt but I didn't I'd already bought a spirit jersey and a t-shirt and this just wasn't up there in my priorities well it went to the outlets didn't it and it was like seven or nine dollars and on the front you've got a motif of all of the different like iconic parts of the countries and it says uh, taste your way around the world 2019 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival so really nice top and on the back it's even got Spaceship Earth and all the countries around it um, so again if we go back to the Food and Wine Festival it's something that I can wear but also like it's a Disney top but not like you don't overly know it's Disney, it just looks like some sort of festival t-shirt, so um, I got that, I was very pleased to find that. I'll show you uh, Darren's purchase, oh well I'll try and show you because they're quite long, because he's a long chap, um, but he got these Star Wars leggings, so on the side, or jogging bottoms, on the side they have this uh, navy stripe to them, and then on the bottom cuff they say Star Wars, and on the top they say Star Wars as well. I didn't know that Darren was like as big a fan of the Star Wars. Um, I think he purely just liked the comfy lookingness of these jogging bombs. So he got those. And then the final two items I got are t-shirts. First one is slightly a bit pricey for what it is. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. It's not like, it's just a normal t-shirt material. It's not like spirit jersey material. And it is this purple long sleeve top. You've got this orange uh, sort of vintage Disney logo. And then on the arm you've got Walt Disney World. So it's similar-esque to like um, a spirit jersey style. Uh, but not quite as expensive. This is 44 99 though. So it was good that we had our discount. Um, but it is expensive as far as like a long sleeve t-shirt goes. But I love the colour so I couldn't resist. They did them in a few colours. There was like a pink one. Um, might have been a blue one. Um yeah and then the last t-shirt I got was the one that I knew I wanted to try and find and I managed to find it in the end and this is the infamous Disney Walt Disney World uh, sign as you enter Disney property and that is what it looks like if you've been to Disney World at all then you will know the infamous sign and all the characters stood by it um, you sort of know whenever you go through it that like your Disney adventure has really started um, and it's just magical so it's like a complete replica of the sign and I really liked it so that's what I got so that's everything oh no I've got one more t-shirt to show you so this t-shirt is wet hence why it wasn't in it on one of the last days I saw this booth and I knew I wanted to do it Darren and I both got a t-shirt um they had this um like sort of make your own t-shirt style booth where you could pick the t-shirt you wanted and the design and kind of the colour you could only choose like black and white really um, and then the guy was there actually making and printing them for you so I mean it's great on their end because there's no like extra waste from producing the t-shirts but because I didn't like any of the actual festival clothing it was all very like bright purple figment I know I like purple but it just was it was like purple and orange it wasn't my cup of tea I saw this as one of the options and I was like I'm getting that Darren got one as well he got a like a cream top with um Mickey Goofy and Donald I think I will insert a picture of us wearing them um I got this one so I got the tie-dye one and I got the sort of vintage Mickey and Minnie on it and I like the fact that it's got festival of the arts um 
it does have like the year of it but it is a very like it's, it's quite small so I can wear it year after year just trying to get a piece of fluff off it uh, as soon as I saw I knew I liked it and I think we've got pass holder discount on it as well which is nice I think a lot of the booths you could get festival of the art merchandise um on like all the art prints on annual pass discount there was only one place um in Norway where we got some prints and they said that they didn't do discount so I'm not quite sure what it is across the board but for the most part just ask um it seems a bit odd like asking for discount on like art that people have like created and is there um but a lot of the time it is you know prints and stuff so uh, they do do uh discount on it so I'm going to show you the Harry Potter bits next, um, aside from the pins, and then I will show you the artwork, just because it's a bit bigger and I need to make some room for it. So let me show you the Harry Potter stuff I got. The first thing I got was actually from Books A Million, and it is this Hufflepuff cork board. They did have uh, cork boards for every house. Obviously, I am a Hufflepuff, so I had to get this one. And I'm going to add all my Harry Potter Hufflepuff pins to it. Um, it already has two little mounts on the back, which is nice. It was only twelve ninety nine, and I thought that's a really nice thing to give a, like a collector, especially if you know what house they're in, if they um, collect the badges. Um, if you want to follow my new Instagram, it's Disney and Potter Finds. Um, I will leave a link down below if I can remember. Um, but I basically showcase a load of Disney and uh, Harry Potter, new finds that I, I find. Um, obviously, I posted a little bit whilst we were away, some stuff from Books A Million, but also I've done like Primark and other different places that I come across them. Uh, so if you are looking for an account like that to follow, come and follow me over there. So I got that. Got three sort of foodie items. First one is exploding bonbons. We haven't actually tried these yet, but these are orange and pineapple flavored bonbons. Um, they are have a white chocolate coating to them and there is popping candy in them. So that'll be interesting for us to try out. And then I picked this up for Darren. He'd never had one before. It is the chocolate frog box um, with the milk chocolate frog in it he has already tried to have a bite out of it and realize it's very solid chocolate um i don't know where our card's gone um let me see if i can find it but we did get the bertie bots card which is cool the last time i got a chocolate frog was maybe like 10 years ago and i got one of the founders um it would have been cool to have got helga hufflepuff because she's my founder um but it was it was cool to see something different um so if i can find that i will grab it for you and then the other thing we got was the felix felicis liquid sweets so this is the liquid luck um i don't know if darren actually wants to drink this or eat it or if he wants it just like on display somewhere um it is pretty to look at but yeah that was like his pick so he got that so one thing i did want to show you is a jumper that i got off of ebay just before we went and it is this hufflepuff jumper this was originally released from primark and i went on the biggest search for this you have no idea um this is the hufflepuff like quidditch style one and i liked it because it had gold on it as opposed to like bright yellow um it was in like new condition with tags i have washed it so it has gone a little bit bobbly but i was pretty excited to wear that when we were walking around because it did get a little bit chilly and then my main purchase from the wizarding world was totally an impulse and a splurge but i love it and made for some great photos it is the hufflepuff daniel nicole backpack she is like equivalent a bit of the equivalent to like a lounge fly uh backpack um she did these in all the different houses and they came in like a clutch bag as well um i haven't actually put anything in this year i simply just wore it with its stuffing in it it was 69.99 i want to say with tax it came to 72.42 it was 68 dollars before tax so it's a pricey bag um but it's on that comparable end to the sort of lounge fly bags and very cute so i'm gonna put that up on my shelf 
Okay, so like I said, we went to the Festival of the Arts and there is a ton of different artwork that you can purchase from different artists and throughout the month, month and a half, they have, um, the artists actually come and sign things as well, which is very cool. So a lot of the, what we got is signed there and then by the artist, if not already like on the print. Um, first thing I'm just going to hold up the exterior and insert a picture of. This is the Memories of Summer print by Rob Kaz. I will insert like the picture that he had on display. That was like the original, I think, or like one in a frame just to show you what it looks like, but it comes rolled up. Um, and he was there, so we got him to sign it, had a really nice conversation with him. Um, he specializes in not only some Disney work, but a lot of like animals and creatures. Um, I followed a lot of the artists on Instagram beforehand so I sort of knew when they were going to be there and when where they were going to be it's also in the festival of the arts little booklet that you can pick up um but yeah so that was this print this is the one that Darren mostly picked out he I think wants to hang this and frame it above our bed because we've not really got any artwork in our bedroom so that was his piece that he liked the next one I'm probably most excited for, this is by a very special artist and actress or voiceover actress called Paige O'Hara. She is a Disney artist but she originally was the voice of Belle. So not only was she the voice of Belle but she now obviously creates pieces of art, she does a lot of Beauty and the Beast work and when I saw that this was like an option to get... I knew I had to get it and we were there when she was signing it. You could only get to meet her and get her to sign the art if you purchased her art there and then. So I did. This was $49.95. Is that what it says? Yeah. So this is all I got. I had to pick the one with Belle and all her books. Belle was probably as a child the one that I sort of most associated with because of like the way she looked. You know, we had the brown brownish hair although my hair was quite blonde when I was younger um and her love for books really and she signed it at the bottom as well and I just thought that's super special it does come with a little postcard on the back actually as well um just like saying about her work it's a lithograph on paper um and the name of it might be far off places I think so that was very cool to get and to meet her she was lovely we had a little conversation about her recording music on abbey road and she lives in vegas now and it was just really lovely to meet her um especially if you're a big disney fan if you're a big princess and bell fan that was really cool so then i got three pieces of artwork from the artist john cutler I think that's how you pronounce his name. He was also there signing his work. He actually also um, released a pair of special Disney ears that he was there and signing with. I don't know if they've sold out or not. Um, but I got three pieces of, of his work. The main one that I really liked is this little canvas one, which I'll show you. But I couldn't pass up these two postcards as well. Um, so he signed these for me. So this is his um, sort of like attraction series and this is the Splash Mountain one. I just loved like the colours of it, the vintage feel of it. it like I wouldn't say that um, Splash Mountain is one of my favourite rides. I'm not one for a water ride particularly just because you get wet but um, I thought that was very cute. So I just got the little postcard. The postcards were 5 99 um, and the fact that you could get it signed, I mean it's a great like gift for someone if you can get them to sign it and personalize it uh, so i got that one and then i also couldn't resist this one this is the um tangled dreams one and it's of rapunzel i loved the colors on this one i just think it's so pretty i don't even know if i've seen rapunzel but i just thought how pretty is that and one day if we have a little girl and we frame this and put it in her nursery i think that will be super cute so those were the two unexpected buys and then this was the one that i really wanted um this i think was 50 or 60 dollars um but i did get annual pass discount on it try not to crumple it really loudly cool so this is the little framed art piece 
um, and it's a little canvas and this is the Galaxy Getaway piece. Uh, this is number 27 of 95, it comes with a certificate on the back, um, Artist Proofs 5 edition 27 out of 95 by John Coltler, Galaxy Getaway. And there's another piece of paper in there, but I'm not quite sure what that is, so I'm just going to leave that. Um, but yeah, these ones he is here already signed at the bottom, so um, it's got a really nice like velvet back to the canvas. And yeah, that looks like it probably could just sort of stand up there, maybe. I mean, you can't see it right now, but that'd be cute. Why don't I just have it like in the background? So not quite sure where I'm going to put it, um, but. That's nice that I don't have to get a frame for it really. Business card as well that he gave out um, with another one of his prints on it. So that's very cute as well. Um, so the last piece of artwork we got is in here. We did get quite a bit. Um, the smaller ones were $25. The bigger ones were $35. And like I said, this was at the place in Norway. Like his booth was inside Norway. Um, and... Um, the lady there said that you couldn't get annual pass discount on it so i don't know if it was because he was inside the shop as opposed to just having a tent outside i don't know but um that's what she told us and that's what we had to go with so let me see if i can get these out we've got four pieces of artwork in here i can't remember the name so i'm hoping i will be able to decipher from his artwork and his signature oh yeah so these are by larry dotson uh so we've got two of the small ones and two of the big ones so the first small one is the one that i got um specifically uh he he signed them all but i wanted to get them um this one in particular um personalized mainly because if i ever come to sell these prints one day it's going to be harder if they're specifically personalized to me uh so this was the one that i got uh for us so at the bottom he's put where dreams come true sophie and darren and then he signed it 2020 so that was quite nice this one's called vacation memories um i will just read uh, there's a little bit about him on the back so i'll just read that it says larry dotson is an internationally recognized artist best known for his oils of coastal scenes sunsets and golf courses he was chosen by the pga to illustrate the beautiful 18 pole Pipu Bay Golf Course at Hawaii, somewhere in Hawaii, I can't pronounce that, for the 1997 Grand Slam program. Um, so apparently he's very big in Hawaii, <laughs> um, and obviously he's been taken on by Disney as well. So that was pretty cool. Um, it says it's an eight colour Gickly Gleisley print. So that was that one, and then this is the other one we got. Uh, this is the, well, they both say vacation memory. So this must be like a series that he does. Um, that must be what the series is called. But this is the Hollywood Boulevard one. So I really like this because I liked the vintage element to it. I particularly liked the fact that it had the um, sorcerer's hat in the background. Um, I would have maybe liked Chinese, like the Chinese theatre incorporated, you know, in behind it. But I thought we're going to frame this probably put it in our downstairs toilet i know that sounds weird but that's where we have a lot of like um like elvis and lucille ball and like hollywood style prints so that's probably where this one will go and then we've got these two which i need to sort of figure out how i'm gonna display because they are christmas themed and you know we're not gonna have them up all year round but obviously i want them to be easily accessed and put up at christmas um so the first one is this one this is a beautiful Epcot one. I mean, I'm so tempted just to actually have this up all year round. This is a really nice mount on it as well. It's got all these little Mickey heads on it, but it's just a gorgeous one of the ball. Um, I love when the ball is lit up at night. Epcot is definitely my favourite part. And then the other one I got I had to get was the Magic Kingdom at night one. Just because the Christmas tree at Magic Kingdom is pretty iconic. So we're going to have those frame somewhere and put up um but i thought that would be pretty cute to uh have some disney artwork at christmas and that is everything i got aside from pins i know this has been a really long video um but i hope you enjoyed seeing mostly disney but some also harry potter stuff stay tuned for that disney pin and oh, harry potter pin video um make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that 
and yeah i will see you in my next video bye guys